I, James Bridenstine, do solemnly swear. I, James Bridenstine, do solemnly swear. In these last few days, I have heard numerous times, welcome to the NASA family. I will tell you it truly does feel like a family here, and I am very humbled to be a part of it. Well, first, our NASA administrator, Jim Bridenstine. He's my dear friend and my boss. Let me introduce Jim Bridenstine. And now it's my honor to welcome and introduce NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. Join me in thanking Jim Bridenstine. The next man and the first woman ever will be Americans on the surface of the moon. We need to go back to the moon. We need to do those stunning achievements. We need to have people emblazon in their minds those moments of history that are of greatness. It is my pleasure to be here today to honor our newest class of astronauts. This is a very exciting day, not only for these impressive men and women, but also incredibly exciting day for our nation and for, in fact, all of humanity. And this is my experience as the NASA Administrator. Everybody loves Artemis. All of our international partners want to be part of the Artemis program. So these are our spacesuits for the Artemis generation. We're gonna go with international partners and we're gonna go with commercial partners. We're gonna utilize the resources of the moon so that we can live and work on another world. We are, once again, launching American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. And this is a big moment in time. It's been nine years since we've had this opportunity. I will tell you, it has been just a, a magnificent thing to watch, so again, Congratulations to the SpaceX team. Congratulations to the NASA team. Today was a great victory, but it is just the beginning. So today we are taking another big leap in this transformation in how we do human spaceflight. What we're doing is we're transitioning from a test flight to operational flights. Hey, Anna, I'm right behind you. All right. Kathy Leaders, Associate Administrator for Human Exploration and Operations at NASA Headquarters. Fundamentally, the Accords are about avoiding conflict, transparency, public registration, deconflicting activities. These are the principles that will preserve peace. The administration and a bipartisan coalition in the Congress are committed to utilizing the great talents of this agency we call NASA. Thank you to all of the hidden figures throughout history that have made NASA such a successful agency. NASA is an amazing little agency that does astonishing things every day, and now we're using that capability to respond to this pandemic using the you know a whole of government approach. I would say that Space Policy Directive 1 is well underway. We've got a long ways to go, but we're started, and certainly we want to get back to the moon as quickly as possible. What are we doing with space technology to help us right here, right now, today? And of course, it's agriculture, and it's endangered species, and it's conservationists, and it's hydropower, and of course, drinking water. We're gonna demonstrate that we can fly across the United States faster than the speed of sound without making that sonic crack that can be so disturbing to folks on the ground. And all of that is gonna happen right here at the Armstrong Flight Research Center. Since I've been the NASA administrator, everybody that works at NASA who are of age remember specifically where they were when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon. And it inspired their lives, it changed their lives. And today they work in the aerospace industry doing absolutely stunning achievements. This is the first time in history when NASA has dedicated a mission 
to what we call astrobiology, the search for life or ancient life on another world. We're gonna cache samples on the surface of another world for a future mission in 2026 to bring those samples back to Earth. And that will be the first time in history that we've done a Mars return mission. It's an amazing day. Uh, I just saw the first images there of Osiris Rex touching down on Bennu. Uh, and it was every bit as beautiful as I thought it would be. It's been the joy of my life to serve this little agency called NASA that um, does just amazing things.